Hello everybody and welcome to Aaron's Place and check it out for my guest today I got Derek Beeman and Derek Beeman has been doing plays and films and things for like years now mm -hmm. and uh, so let's take a little walk down memory lane tell me tell me exactly how you got started well I actually got started with plays and stuff man mm -hmm. um, actually in prison Mm -hmm. To be honest, I started plays in prison. I uh, was in this, uh, this guy asked me to, there was programs going on for Black History Month, I think. Okay. And the guy asked me to read a script. He said, you know how to read a script? I said, I never read a script. But anyway, I, I got into learning how to read the script and then I started acting. I, I don't think I'm a great actor, but they loved mm -hmm. it. And they loved it. And, um, and I started from there, I started creating. Mm -hmm. And um, when I got transferred to another um prison, I seen that a lot of people was coming in, a lot of young guys were coming in, mm -hmm. gang members and stuff uh -huh, like that. Uh -huh. So I felt the way, I felt like I needed to touch them mm -hmm. and I wanted to do something to make a difference. Right. Because right. a lot of people was mm -hmm. coming in, not gang members and mm -hmm. leaving out. So what I would do, um, I would um, put plays on with them in it. Okay. But okay. I would ask them to tell the true story. Right. You know, right. No, no mm -hmm. rapping about a tangerine green Lamborghini <laughs> that you don't have. <laughs> and man, that was a dream. <laughs> and it sounds self esteem. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But, but it's, it was. Mm -hmm. it, it just, so mm -hmm. that's how I started. And I would do it, and the warden would let me put it on. Oh, okay. That's how I okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So then you branched from that, and once you got out, you started doing plays too. Yeah, when I got out, mm -hmm. I started doing plays, but it was much different. This mm -hmm. time, everything mm -hmm. cost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, remember that. Remember that. Things cost. The things cost. It was prison, but I, I didn't let it stop me. I, I'm from the city of Portsmouth, so what I used to do, they had a victory crossing right there. They had mm -hmm. a giant um, farm fresh uh -huh. thing, uh -huh. and I thought that mm -hmm. was the perfect place. I had me an apartment um, after being home 10 months, and I created my own flyers out of black and white, and, mm -hmm. I, and I bottled up some oils and went out there and sold them, trying to make a legit living for myself right, and right, pay my right, rent right. Mm -hmm. and come up with the um, building funds for the show. Mm -hmm. It was very challenging, um, and people would, you know, take my flyers and mm -hmm. buy Respond oils, to it. Okay. Yeah, and I would mm -hmm. take all my money and okay. go purchase a building. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Now, um, you got some television um, advertisement one time, and you were telling me the the lady that interviewed you got fired. Oh yeah, yeah, I cannot think of that fine woman name. Mm, um, mm -hmm. I, I remember she see. was on TV. Yeah, yeah I remember she was like the Spanish or something like uh -huh. that. She's from California. She came to uh, Channel Ten News, man. Uh -huh. And after they interviewed me, um, you know, I had my grunts in my mouth, and um, it was I guess it was too, too. Uh, not what they were looking for as mm -hmm. the market. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I really mm -hmm. came from, you know, a real mm -hmm. struggle. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess that's not what they were looking for. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. she, I went to reach out to her and call. She had got fired. She had oh, got fired. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. I think they got to keep up a certain rapport yeah. with a certain mm -hmm. type of marketing, mm -hmm. certain type of people that speak a certain way. And right, I'm right, all right. ding, sheen, and ding, ding, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sheen, nothing mm -hmm. yet. So, <laughs> 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 so they, they got rid of her, and um, what, what, this is one guy. I think his name was Sal on Channel Three. Uh -huh. Sal. I remember one time I was with um, uh, good friends Kim Whitbush and all them, and um, mm -hmm. partners in the community. And I remember that we did something—a trip to Flint, Michigan, because they had bad water. Mm -hmm. And um, I had my friends. They was gold back then, <laughs> and he didn't want. To, I could tell he didn't want to put up, put me on the um, film, and they kept saying he didn't want to do the plays and stuff like that. <laughs> and he went way in the back of the room one time trying to film me, thinking that the golds would leave. Uh -huh. that he mm -hmm. wouldn't get the golds in the, in the picture. But anyway, uh -huh. uh, I, I had went through a lot of challenges like that, but I mm -hmm. never stopped. Uh -huh. I never yeah. stopped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. So finally, you got your first play, and I believe one of your plays actually sold out. Um, with the help of uh, Tank Top Tony, my partner, uh -huh. Satonius mm -hmm. Visions, or AKA um, Satonius Ask You Man. Mm -hmm. uh, we all have a dream. We had mm -hmm. two, two nights. One night we showed two times in um, ODU Theater, mm -hmm. and one night we showed one time. Mm -hmm. Tony, um, with the help of Tony, man, he sold out uh, okay. two shows, okay. and we mm -hmm. had a, a, a large portion in the third show. Oh, okay. Yeah, we sold okay. out. And the mm -hmm. newspapers and everything. That was a blessing. Mm -hmm. So I guess once you get bigger and bigger and bigger, people don't care. You know, they, yeah. just, they don't have yeah. a problem with you being on there, you know, on the show then because you're, you're much larger now and you can bring a broader cast. Yeah, that was great so, after um, Rotten Apple, man. Mm -hmm. you know, I remember Rotten Apple. I remember, remember and I really you did appreciate that. your help with that, mm -hmm. man, because all of these plays are learning experiences. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never been to school for none of it. Mm -hmm. it but you're a natural, though. Yeah. Because I've seen a lot of good stuff, which is very professional. Well, well, thank you. Because <laughs> I come from the dirt with that uh -huh. little dirt with God, man. <laughs> yeah. uh, and and it's, it's kind of amazing like that because some people are just plain talented like that, you know. And you know what you want, 
and you, you, you kind of visualize it in your head and then you do it. And like you said, the more and more you do it, the better you get at it. So keep that as a lesson. If you fail the first time, hey, get it right the second time, you know. Yeah, yeah. So and, and before we go into the interview a little bit, tell me about the hats you got here. Okay, this is uh, One Big Production Get That Bag hat. Um, this hat, um, that logo that I created, One Big Production Get That Bag, that was right after I left Virginia and went to New York mm -hmm. and the prices had changed. The prices from Virginia are different from the cost of living in New York. Mm -hmm. And I had the money for my um, last play, We All Have a Dream, like I said, mm -hmm. we sold out I remember floor. that, yeah. That money went. Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> so yeah, like, like yeah. Months. money. Once you spend it, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and um, when I got to, to New York, man, I came there. This big vision in my head to start mm -hmm. doing plays, mm -hmm. and I was married, and um, the culture was different. I had to find work, and uh, I was traveling back and forth to New York to Virginia, which is very costly. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, and I and I was I woke up with like uh, sixty dollars in my pocket. My phone bill bill was due. Uh -huh. And uh, I phone yeah, bill. and I said uh, it was the $60 on my phone bill. And uh, I walked past, they had back then Obama phones. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said, I would keep the $60 to uh -huh. give me Obama phone. So the lady said, You want a Obama phone? I'm like, Yes. And so I cut my phone off. So I went through some really hard times. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that year came in 2018. And uh, I said to myself, I'm gonna get that bag. Everybody mm -hmm. was on social media back then saying bag, bag, mm -hmm. get the bag. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's what I gotta do. I gotta get that bag. Uh -huh. So being into theater or you trying to be a producer or you mm -hmm. trying to be anything, mm -hmm. one thing you're gonna need, every business scrub struggle with capital. Mm -hmm. So I came out with Get That Bad. This is a universal mm -hmm. language. Uh, mm -hmm. You like the hats? I like the hats, man. Let's get one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Woody. Thank you for your support, man. Thank you. <laughs> and then how can people contact you? Um, uh, it's easy. Uh, OneBigProductionCompany.com. Okay. Uh, everything spelled out is not the number one. OneBigProductionCompany.com. Okay. Or um, you can get my business number. Okay. 757-610-1587. Okay, remember that, people. One more time. 757-610-1587. Okay, call him. And now are the hats on your website? The hats are on my website. Okay, okay. And the website is some reason going through construction. And that's another thing about funding. Mm-hmm. It's... You, when you're doing a play or producing or a director or mm -hmm. whatever, it's a lot of hats that you got to wear. Not mm -hmm. hats, but a lot, lot, of, a hats. lot of hats. <laughs> yeah, I, I know about that. So, 24-hour mm -hmm. day can be, you, you're going to need every ounce of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so um, the website is up. It's under construction, but a lot of people have been trying to order these hats, mm -hmm. and they was having problems. So, I came to Virginia mm -hmm. to deliver them personally. Oh, okay. oh, now people they gonna like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some people are buying tickets as well. Okay. Now, one more thing: uh, Are the hats gonna be at the show? The hats are gonna be at the show, and um, they're doing good right now. I think it's a good look, and it's a universal language. And uh, I should have different colors. I really appreciate those that support mm -hmm. the movement. Okay. I really do. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. And uh, how much? Tell everybody how much are the hats? Well, right so now they won't be surprised when they get. Okay. To <laughs> hey, hey, yesterday's prices are not today's prices. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, the, the hat. Are actually thirty dollars each. Okay. Uh, you're supporting the brand, and uh, this is this is homegrown, mm -hmm. and I put a lot into this. The hats are thirty dollars mm -hmm. each, but when people buy more than one, mm -hmm. I'm gonna always give them a discount. Oh, okay. I always give them a discount, mm -hmm. man, because okay. I appreciate my customers. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. really do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's get into the show a little bit. Uh, Showtime with the fossil. You know, you know what is it? Tell me a little bit about it. What is what's what, what's going on here? This is a comedy. This is a comedy. Showtime with the Foster. This is in Virginia. ODU again. This okay. time we had the Gould mm -hmm. Theater. Mm -hmm. The other theater was bigger. Mm -hmm. The Gould Theater is more intimate. Okay. Okay. And the quality of sound. Okay. And you have couple seats. Oh, okay. Heads and hurdles. Oh, okay. And mm -hmm. you have the tier. Mm -hmm. And even though the other theater has more seats, we we want the intimate crowd. It's been okay. four okay. years, mm -hmm. man. So it's hard to believe. Four years. Four man. years. It is hard to believe. Mm -hmm. I'm fifty years old now. Uh-huh. <laughs> so so I know But you're looking good though. So Thanks, hey, man. Hey, Thanks. Hey, I hey, never uh -huh. thought I'd be a half a century. Uh-huh. <laughs> I never thought I'd be a half a century. I wish old. I could go back to a half a century. <laughs> <laughs> you looking good too, man. Right? I'm gonna be six 63 this year. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. That you looking good. Thanks. And uh and uh you know people like yourself, your inspiration. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. for me um, um, with trying to stay afloat. I got I have grandchildren and all this mm -hmm. type of stuff. So your inspiration, but mm -hmm. back to what I what you asked me, what was the fossil all about? Uh, Showtime mm -hmm. with the fossil, what mm -hmm. it consists of, what mm -hmm. is it about? What is it about? Well, Showtime with the fossil is just that. It's it's the fossil. My partner Tank Top Tony is the fossil. I think. He is marketable more than my character. I'm okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And when you come to business, you cannot be personal when it comes to business. Mm -hmm. You cannot be emotional. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, when it comes to entertainment, mm -hmm. they want to feel like they're the best singer, they're the best writer, they're the best actor, they're the best yep. everything. Mm -hmm. But that may be, but some things are more marketable than others. Exactly. Tony, mm -hmm. Tony, a.k.a. The Fossil, People just love him, mm -hmm. and they love him better than they love Uncle Pete. I actually mm -hmm. put a poll up mm -hmm. on um, uh, um, Instagram, uh -huh. and I said, "Do you like Uncle Pete?" And I put one of his jokes up there with him doing a joke, mm -hmm. and people took a poll. Mm -hmm. And I put, "Do you like the fossil?" And um, put one of his jokes up there, mm -hmm. and um, fossil won. Mm -hmm. He won okay. by like uh, twelve percent. Okay. So Good. in a in a mm -hmm. businessman as me, mm -hmm. um, I'm not. Taking nothing personal, right, right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, mm -hmm. this is the, the people it's say they want the fossil, uh -huh. Uh -huh. so they gonna get the fossil. Mm -hmm. So, and you know what? Mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough. I, I did my first full length film uh, uh, about a year ago, and and I got three nominations and one award. And the fossil man. was actually did a scene for me in that movie where he's walking down the street as an old man and oh. it was so funny. Oh man. Yeah, he he was wow. hilarious. Congratulations yeah. uh -huh. to you both and, and, mm -hmm. and your your casting, your pick. Mm -hmm. That that takes a lot of interest in too. Does. Man. So uh -huh. that that will help you win. Mm -hmm. And and mm -hmm. you have to be selective like that. So with the fossil, showtime with the fossil is fossil doing his skits and mm -hmm. we got a lot of surprise guests. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of surprise guests, performance, live music. Okay. Man, we have a female DJ, Dirty oh. Die, okay. from Hampton, right here. <laughs> That's right. She travels right. all over uh -huh. the world mm -hmm. and perform and get paid to DJ. And mm -hmm. come on, you a female DJ? Mm -hmm. Woo! You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You got to keep it hot like that. Uh -huh. Ain't no music. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, also, we have. Uh, get the hands, get the hands, man. You mm -hmm. heard of get the hands? I heard. Over. Well, hold on, I think I have. Them. Yeah, get the, yeah. Get the hands. Mm -hmm. Why not start? Mm -hmm. And um um, oh, I forgot the other ones. Uh, something on my heart or something like that. Uh -huh. I forgot it, but he has plenty more. But these went. These went. These songs he went. He got millions. He has millions of views. Mm -hmm. Actually, I went to the Bahamas in Mexico mm -hmm. about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. three weeks ago. And I showed somebody that video. Mm -hmm. Why not start? Y'all check out that. Why okay. not start? Okay. I showed somebody in the Bahamas that videos, mm -hmm. and they booked them. Right. Okay. Okay. They booked okay. them all over you. <laughs> but they don't owe me nothing, man. That was God. That was God putting me in uh -huh. place in the uh -huh. right place uh -huh. with the and right people. Help them out. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. Right. yeah. And, and things that's, come that's back. How things you come do? back. Yeah. Things come mm -hmm. back. And you, mm -hmm. the, the less you keep hate mm -hmm. out of your heart, you, the the more the better you're gonna be. Okay. You can't you can't prosper. Having anything against anybody in the past uh -huh. that wronged uh -huh. you, you have to let that uh -huh. go. Got to let it go. And you will gotta be able to grow them. and move forward. Mm -hmm. As that saying says, you know, you got to love them anyway. You, you know, and anyway. there's a lot of people I say that about, I just got to love them anyway. You got to love them anyway. <laughs> you, got, you got to, man. Unless they're an enemy, you got to love them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, And even if they're an enemy, you still got to love them and pray for them. See, see some you know, people say that. And, hey, mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. but enemy, you better stay out of my way. <laughs> well, okay. I feel you know. okay. What makes one big production a comedy? What what what's gonna make me laugh in this film? Well, um, what makes one big production a comedy, or yeah. what's to make it a comedy special? Well, make a comedy special. Okay, what makes this a comedy special? Four years, man. Mm -hmm. It's been four years, and through that four years, our last show. My mother was living. Mm -hmm. My son was living. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of uh, a lot was going on. I was married. Mm -hmm. Through those four years, I lost my mother. Mm. My son was murdered, mm. and I went through a divorce. And I suffered homelessness after going wow. through a divorce. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I went, I was homeless in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, shout outs to my ex wife. Nothing uh, against her, but I couldn't do the marriage life. I just mm -hmm. couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it won't fuck everybody. And I felt in prison. Uh-huh. And, and it was certain things that I had to blossom. That woman is a beautiful and lovely she woman. Is. She is. But she, 
It was for Sometimes me at the it time. just don't jive. Sometimes yeah, you have it, two people that just don't mix. Yeah, you know? it wasn't, and, and it wasn't you, for me. Uh, you know, I'm the same way. I, I I don't wish my ex any any hard feelings, anything like that. But yeah. you know, there's some things we couldn't connect with, and so we had to separate. That, you know? and, and and what made this a comedy special? After going through burying my mother, burying my son, mm -hmm. uh, being divorced, being homelessness. I mean, being homeless and COVID stopping me every time I had a venue. I had a venue in Harlem. Mm -hmm. I paid my last little eleven hundred dollars being homeless mm -hmm. just to hold the venue, mm -hmm. and they end up shutting it down. Yeah, but gratefully the mm -hmm. man was a uh, 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 he had uh, integrity to him, mm -hmm. and after um, six months he returned my money. Thank God. Ooh. After closing the business, mm -hmm. he could have easily kept it. He, yeah, and mm -hmm. he returned my money. Mm -hmm. and I, I literally was homeless. Mm -hmm. um, and going through that, so I got the money back and had to use it for mechanics on my car, my vehicle. Right, my right, 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 right. So, yeah, mm -hmm. that was that mm -hmm. was that. So what makes this a, a, a comedy special? That we're coming back because it's time. Mm -hmm. It's time, man. And I felt like, look, look, we we're not gonna be like these businesses that lose out in first five years and not come back. Mm -hmm. This this brand gonna be everlasting. Mm -hmm. Well, see, it takes a while to get started anyway, and and if you stick to it, it will flourish. Right. You know, it will flourish. So we can talk about CEO directors and producers and things like that. You know, those are some big names that we can throw out there. But why isn't it on the flyer? Okay. Uh, you. Well, come <laughs> on, talk to me. All right. I am the CEO, producer, and director. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when you're doing business, you have to put yourself in the back. It's really not about you. It's about the business. You know, notice when you set up the business, mm -hmm. it's a whole separate entity. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. They got your own EIN number. Mm -hmm. You have your mm -hmm. own profile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have your own banking. Mm -hmm. You have your own section, your mm -hmm. own everything. Mm -hmm. Personal is over here and business over here. Right, right, right. So mm -hmm. um, the reason I'm not on the flyer is because, you know, like I said, the fossil mm -hmm. is more marketable. Mm -hmm. the, Tony is more marketable, and mm -hmm. the people love the fossil. Not saying that you don't have a few that like Uncle Pete, mm -hmm. but right mm -hmm. now it's mm -hmm. not Uncle Pete time, and that's one thing about business. You have to know your time. Right, right. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of these companies mm -hmm. stay going on forever, and some close. I don't see Kodak no more. Mm -hmm. When I was coming up, it was a Kodak box. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, uh -huh. man, I don't see mm -hmm. Kodak. And well, we're doing digital now. Doing digital, so <laughs> some know? things it serves its mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Then you have some companies that that went out and recreated themselves. Mm -hmm. So I had to recreate myself. Okay. Going through all that, okay. I had to recreate okay. and I had to learn how to sit back mm -hmm. and learn my company better because I wanted to win. Right, right, right. So, that's a good, that's, so that's a good angle. Going. Okay. Yeah. Now, does uh, one big production? Does it have anything coming back? I mean, uh, I'm coming up. What's what's going on? Okay. Where, what's the future? Well, one big production. The future is. Okay, we have this venue right here, Showtime with the Fossil. Mm -hmm. um, I came to New York mm -hmm. to do plays there, and I fell in love with the culture. You know, the money, the um, lifestyle, mm -hmm. legally, of course. Mm -hmm. And I just, the buildings, the plays, Broadway's. And I said, I came to New York, and I forgot what I came for, being homeless, going through divorce, mm -hmm. and all that. Well, that's distracting. It's, it you is. know, you're going one direction, and all of a sudden, something comes up like COVID. You know, something yeah. comes out, and it hurt me. COVID oh. really hurt me financially. It hurt yeah. a lot of people. Uh, some people gained, and some people didn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Some of the housing gained. Some mm -hmm. people had Airbnbs, because people don't wasn't doing hotel travels, and mm -hmm. they were doing their families in Airbnbs, and mm -hmm. they gained. Yeah. Uh -huh. My uncle was one of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? But And a lot of property owners, you know, they benefited off of COVID. Some people didn't, mm -hmm. and COVID mm -hmm. and everything. And uh, Sorry, what was the question again? <laughs> 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 What do you have? What do you have coming up? What's going kind of going on? The future for mm -hmm. one big production is like I said, I got into the culture, the lifestyle, mm -hmm. and living and stuff. But I wasn't marketing myself no more. Mm -hmm. I got into health because COVID. I was against it. Mm -hmm. I didn't believe what the news was saying. Uh, I didn't believe it. Yeah, so uh, I thought it was a big scam. I really did, and I know. And don't don't write me letters and email me and all that kind of stuff. I know it's real. But I'm sorry, I believe it was blown up way yeah, more. Like I think it was a money-making yeah. deal, you know. And, and I'm not going to get into that because yeah, I know it's going to make some people mad. And that just going to make people mad. <laughs> social media has control when they hear that word. Yeah, They have uh -huh. control. We mm -hmm. can't even speak on things that we feel are right now. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But, you know, my... my, I mean, you know, my 
relatives, my older elders that I have respect for, my aunts, aunts mm -hmm. uncles, and grandma, mm -hmm. friends, and all that mm -hmm. stuff. They were like, don't come in here. I want to see you, grandma. I know. I had the same problem. <laughs> you know? I'm seeing you now. But well, yeah. you can't come over right now because I'm sick and I don't and I'm old and I don't need to have the COVID. And yes. Uh, especially, you couldn't travel. Couldn't travel. No, I did. You know? uh -huh. I bought my flight. What I did, I'm gonna be honest mm -hmm. with you. Right? Mm -hmm. What I did when the news told me something. I searched for remedies. Mm -hmm. I went to like study Dr. Savy. Uh -huh. And I really studied. I didn't really just look at it. Mm -hmm. I actually practiced the things he said, do the herbs and mm -hmm. all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie, my body started cleansing. Mm -hmm. I started feeling better. Mm -hmm. started running. I'm still doing pull-ups, uh -huh. shadow boxing, mm -hmm. jumping around. Mm -hmm. um, still making great love to the women. Mm -hmm. And it was the herbs. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the way he said, do it, I wasn't just watching it. And uh, I think uh, I was working in a the movie there. I worked for Netflix in New mm -hmm. York. Okay. So I'm working there and they was doing stuff like everybody had to do a COVID test. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I said, I, mm -hmm. I don't want to do it. I'm against this stuff going into me. Yeah. And they mm -hmm. said, well, you got to get fired. So I said, okay, what, what do I turn my paperwork in? Mm -hmm. They said, what paperwork? I said, my paperwork for my constitutional rights that you're valid. I don't have to inject nothing mm -hmm. because of my religion. Mm -hmm. They all had a group. They, okay. they emailed me back and said, look, we'll give you one shot. You tell us you're spending in your own words why you don't want to take this vaccine and mm -hmm. how it relates to you and your religion. Mm -hmm. And she said, we'll vote on it. If everybody vote that you don't go, that you don't work with us, you terminate it. Okay. She said, but mm -hmm. if we vote that you mm -hmm. do, do I turn my paperwork in, mm -hmm. I email it to them, mm -hmm. and I kept my job. Oh, they okay, good, 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 good. So um, mm -hmm. the fruit and vegetables and everything. So um, I keep forgetting our questions. Because <laughs> we went to those, and these are great topics that people don't speak about. Right, oh, right, right. Oh, time mm -hmm. went past. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going everywhere without masks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, you, we had to take a COVID test every week to work in the movies or mm -hmm. the Netflix. Okay. And one time I went to go test, and they said I had COVID. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel a thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't and, scared. And I believe you, you know why? Yeah, why? Because they told me I had COVID, too. Yeah. And my daughter... Had it because my daughter came from um, Jersey, mm -hmm. and then when she went back, she said she tested positive, mm -hmm. which means me and all my kids had to go get test right. positive. The girls tested, and they did have symptoms. Um, I think my son had a backache. I had absolutely no, no symptoms. No symptoms at all. None and, whatsoever. And, I, and, I, and I, I said it must be my Lord, my diet, and my mm -hmm. faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I contributed to. I said because mm -hmm. you know I'm eating a certain way, mm -hmm. exercising. And my Lord and my mm -hmm. faith, I, I really believe. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think that that my people fear. I read about fear that it crushes your body worse it than does. bad eating. It does, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and I mean, fear can, can make you sick it can and, make you and sick. cause you make your body vomit, to yeah. make you tremble. Uh -huh. Yeah, it can make you uh, uncontrollable. Can't mm -hmm. talk. And uh, I had no fear of it. Mm -hmm. And what happened was. I, they test. I said it can't be because I don't feel nothing. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I thought about it. Some people health if they're not eating right and not, not and they fearful, it, they could have a weaker meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and you know so anyway. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened with me. So um, I went back to test next week and uh, I stayed in like they said to stay into the thing. But they, mm -hmm. I had got called for a test and I tested and then it didn't come. It came back negative. Mm -hmm. so one week it was positive. Mm -hmm. Next week it was negative. I, mm -hmm. I was confused by that. Care. I had to take <laughs> two weeks off from work. That's what they made me do too. You know? I stayed away from people. Mm -hmm. I yeah, away. I, I, I did what I was supposed to. Yeah. But people looked at me funny when I didn't have my mask on yeah. walking into a public. You talking about discrimination? Like yeah. Mm -hmm. You talking about That's discrimination? They looked at me like I was um, some type of villain. I said, "You the one injected with fluids? You don't know what it is? You well, might get it." I know, I know. If you got, if, if the thing worked, then why are you worried about me not having a mask? I had some major problems with it. <laughs> oh, you know what, y'all? I'm gonna cut this part out and save it for later. Because this is a great conversation and it needs to be heard. So we're gonna cut this part out and do the rest and save it for later. Another time. But we're gonna do it. We're mm -hmm. gonna do it. But this, this is a good conversation uh, too. Uh, really. well, let's go to one more question okay. before you go. Okay. Um, can you give any advice to people that are starting out that like want to do plays, want to do movies? You know, uh, what advice would you give to them? Oh man, you if you really want to do plays, do movies, or become that singer, I would say earn that. It is not like. What you see in the movies, you're mm -hmm. gonna sing and everybody gonna make you this big star. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we've been doing the same thing for years. Mm -hmm. So I know rappers that have been rapping for years, singers have been singing for years. I've been to the play that right for years, even though I took a four year break. Mm -hmm. So I would say, man, you have to literally breathe it, man. You gotta mm -hmm. want it like you want mm -hmm. air. Mm -hmm. So I don't allow any type of stress. 
from anyone, mm -hmm. um, especially like my girlfriend or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. um, and they don't. They only assist me. And I say they. <laughs> <laughs> but they know it's a day too. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't lie. Yeah. I don't lie to them uh -huh. nothing about it, and uh -huh. they treat me great. Okay, and yeah. I, I treat mm -hmm. them great. That's mm -hmm. that's the return of it, mm -hmm. and it helps me. Mm -hmm. It helps me, and I would say that my advice is when you have a dream, it's four things that you have to do. First thing you have to do is you have to commit to that vision or that dream. Mm -hmm. You can't be scared to commit to it. Mm -hmm. The second thing you have to be is consistent, mm -hmm. consistent, building on it, consistent, consistent. Mm -hmm. And the third thing you have to do, you have to have carriage. Mm -hmm. You're going to have people doubting you. You're going to have You're people not believing in you. Mm -hmm. You're going to have the people that send you sideways. Close people. You're going to have people that come in your life that leave. They're supposed to come in your life and leave because some people come in as like a... Um, like a, a, a rocket, when you shoot a rocket in the sky, and they got boosters when that rocket first take off. But when it get up to a certain level, those boosters fall off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you have to let them help boost you, you know, until mm -hmm. you go to that next level. Mm -hmm. They have to fall off, and you have to keep going. Don't mm -hmm. look back. You have to keep going. Mm -hmm. So you have um, commitment, consistency, the courage to keep going. And the last but not least, you have to commit. I mean, you have to complete mm -hmm. what you came out for. You have to complete. Keep your what eyes you, on the prize. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. it, and it starts little steps. Mm -hmm. It starts little steps, and you seem like you'll never get there, but everything is due in its mm -hmm. own time. Mm -hmm. You can't rush it. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been doing this since 2015. It's seven years later. Uh, even though I'm off four years, I look at it like, look, I've only been doing this for three years, and I did it over like 13 shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's a good... Um, that's a good uh, thing. And one more thing. You asked me what was coming up for One Big Production. Right, right. I came to New York to do plays. I actually have a play coming up in Manhattan. In Times Square. <laughs> uh, Uncle Pete put the kids to bed. Oh, so, okay. like I said, you can't be scared to be you. Right. So, right. Uncle Pete got a certain type of jokes that's about relationships. And people look at relationships mm -hmm. so one type of way. And, you know, we all, like women, I'm not trying to be funny. A lot of us, you know, they grow up for like, Fairy tales. Mm -hmm. Kiss the prince and he forever. Yeah. 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 Happy I mean, ever happy. We believe yeah. that's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. in real life, it struggles, people get sick, you gotta work, mm -hmm. income, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They don't cover all that. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't tell them all that. So you gotta really um be grown and mature about the situation. And this year we're gonna put the kids to bed. Uncle okay. Pete in Manhattan. Okay. Um Labor okay. Day weekend. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Labor Day weekend. And um, Labor Day weekend, September the third in Manhattan. Uh, I don't have the address right now, but I'll put it on the um, on somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm happy too because I committed mm -hmm. to the vision, whether Uncle people like Uncle Pete or not. I'm not scared to follow mm -hmm. my vision. Mm -hmm. So that's what we that's got coming up, man. man. That's good, man. I'm glad to have you back <laughs> on, man. It's been wonderful, man. Yeah. You know, because of the COVID, you know, we've all taken a break, you know. But, uh, and, you know, we're going to get it back together. We're going to be seeing y'all the next time. So until I see y'all the next time, I'm going to do what I always do, and that's talk. Y'all have a good night. Bye. <laughs> right. Thank you, man. That was awesome, man.